But we'll start with England, who've announced their team for the second Ashes Test, and it's a surprise selection for Josh Tung, who will win just his second cap. Tung is in for Moe Nally, meaning England will have an all-out seam attack with no specialist spinner. Here is that team in full then. The batting lineup remains unchanged with Zach Crawley partnering Ben Duckett at the top, followed by Ollie Pope, Joe Root and Harry Brook. Then comes Ben Stokes, the captain, and Johnny Bairstow. That one change comes in the bowling with Moe Nally left out and Tung coming in and a four-pronged pace attack of Stuart Broad, Ollie Robinson, Tung and Josh Anderson with Roots likely to be making up a lot of overs. Well, Tung made his debut at Lords earlier this month, taking five wickets during Ireland's second innings to help England to a three-day victory with his bowling speed occasionally hitting 90 miles an hour. It was thought that England were missing express pace in the first test, with many expecting Mark Wood to come in this week. Stuart Broad and Jimmy Anderson both averaged a shade more than 80 miles an hour, with Ben Stokes and Ollie Robinson both below 80. So many expected Mark Wood to come into the team this week. He's England's quickest seamer since 2020, an average of 88 miles an hour. Just one test for Tung, uh, but he averaged 84 miles an hour in that test. Ollie Robinson with the slowest pace of all the England seamers in the last three years. Well, Tung has played 48 first-class games, taking 167 wickets, an impressive average of just under 26. He takes a wicket every 45.7 balls on average and has eight five-wicket hauls, including a best of six for 97. So Tung in for Moeen, who have been a doubt due to a blister on his finger, but it's understood this is a tactical decision rather than a result of Moeen's finger, and Moeen would have been fit to bowl if required. Yes, the inclusion of Josh Tung in this England lineup to play Australia in the second test is a surprise. We thought Mark Wood was the most likely to come back in with his express pace to offer a point of difference to the attack. But Josh Tung took five wickets on debut here against Ireland. He's having a bat now. And that was uh, a surprise call-up as well in that warm-up test against Ireland. We didn't think he'd play. We thought he was just included in the squad as backup. So it was quite a rise uh, for Tung. He caught the eye of England's selectors last winter uh, on a Sri Lanka uh, a tour of Sri Lanka with the England Lions. He took eight wickets in Gaul then. Then uh, he started the championship season well. He got Steve Smith out and Chitesh, uh, Chiteshwar Pajara in the same game against Sussex. And that got his, him a call-up as injury cover. And then, as I say, he made that debut against Lords. It's an interesting call. England going with four seamers. I wonder if Ben Stokes' knee uh, is partly to do with that. Ben Stokes not sure how his knee's going to hold up. He bowled 14 overs at Edgbaston. If you go with four seamers, uh, you've got the extra bowler, obviously. Uh, the conditions out in the middle, it's a green top. It looks good for seamers. We've also got some cloud around on day one, some rain potentially day two, and a fair bit of rain on Saturday. So Josh Tung, as I say, took five wickets here against Ireland. He also bowled fast. He bowled at 91 miles an hour in that test match. He gets extra bounce, and now he's going to have another chance to stake his claim and start a brilliant brilliant test career. Five wickets against Ireland. Can he do it here on the biggest stage against Australia in an Ashes test? We shall see.